Located at the confluence of the Aka and Volga rivers, Nizhny Novgorod, or just Nizhny to the locals, is one of Russia's grand old cities, with a mighty Kremlin fortress, stunning waterfront views, and countless crumbling wooden houses, alongside imposing Soviet housing projects and factories. Nizhny was closed to outsiders during the Cold War, and today its young generation is intent on opening it up to the world. The town has become an international centre of street art, with centuries-old wooden facades repurposed for contemporary creativity. Just one example of the way the old and new are brought into dialogue. I'm here with local artist Artyom to find out more about the past and future of Nizhny. What is the, uh, the cultural reputation of, of Nizhny? It's architecture. Uh-huh. What sort of architecture is it famous for? Um... Wooden architecture, historical architecture, mm -hmm. and the second one is uh, Soviet architecture, like modernism or avant-garde and communal avant-garde. Uh, next, we have lots of things with contemporary art. Okay. <laughs> I'm a contemporary artist. Nizhny Novgorod is, I don't know, one of the key cities in the contemporary art sphere in Russia. We are right now at the center of the city, uh -huh. but you can see what is happening here. In Nizhny Novgorod, we have a very specific street art sphere. Mm -hmm. And uh, lots of artists are not working on new houses or in some outskirts, abandoned places, but they prefer to work with wooden architecture right. because they cherish this thing. They uh, speak with people who live in these houses. This is our place. And uh, we are working here with uh, our artists. This is uh, Andrea Lenev and Anton Morkov. Hey, guys. For the most of the time, I'm working here because okay. uh, I work with wood, with uh, concrete. So uh, that's why I have to work here, not to disturb all the other guys who are working is this your, Is this your work here? Yes, this is bus relief. So actually, it is a very complicated thing because I have to make a form with cut wood uh -huh. and then pure the concrete there. This is concrete? Yeah. Wow. The Kremlin is uh, a very old building, actually. It's like uh -huh. a fortress up in the hills, but uh, in Soviet times, it was a project to bomb the whole Kremlin. To, to blow destroy it, up. it. Yeah. Okay. No one needed it because, you <laughs> see, it's the past of the empire. We don't need it. We are into the cosmos, you see? Yeah. But there they... was only one architect who said, no, it's our heritage, we should preserve it, and so on. Okay. There was the only person who defended it. So one like, guy. Yeah, one, one guy. guy saved it. One architect. We are inside the Kremlin, uh -huh. inside these ancient walls. And you can see we have a lot of administrative buildings, but uh, the most valuable building is, of course, the center of contemporary art arsenal. And I really want you to enjoy it. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Here we are standing at the place of conjunction of Riva Aka uh -huh. and Riva Volga. And you can see here the stadium and uh, the historical center, the Kremlin. Yes. And these things, this great metal engineering wonder is actually the original warehouses that were built especially for the All Russian Exhibition in 1896. So these were pavilions? Yeah, these were pavilions especially for this exhibition. And I guess in the future it will be a park or a cultural site okay, that can cool. be possible and accessible for everyone. Cool. We are in Aftozavod. Right. This is uh, the district where the manufacturers that produced 
civil cars and war vehicles uh -huh. and we are standing right in front of the district where uh, the new houses were built especially for the workers who worked in these manufacturers. Right. Sergey, tell me a bit about this amazing space. Well, this place was founded in the late 19th century uh -huh. and for the first five years uh, there was a bank but after the October Revolution, uh, there was a need to uh, to give people place to live, and right. uh, there was uh, some kind of communal apartments. In the 19s, some underground artists did uh, here uh, exhibitions uh, that were hidden from uh, from all citizens. Oh wow! Yeah, and for the last two years, uh, this uh, place is uh, the Contemporary Art Gallery. in the former building of typography. Uh -huh. It used to be a labor house where peasants or people unemployed can apply and work and earn some money. But right now you can see that in this uh, Art Nouveau modern house, uh, there are new businesses that are just uh, starting making new economy. For example, there are uh, local theaters, local cinemas with people who are making films and production. We can uh, see people who are working with new furniture, new fashion. So the new industries have replaced the old? Yes, yes. In the same old building? You remember the Shukhov Tower in Moscow? I do, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, another Shukhov Tower. It's a bit lower, but it's right now on the river bank. It used to be uh, electric power line, and uh, there were about six hour towers, uh -huh. but eventually we have only one remaining. There is an interesting legend about uh -huh. how uh, Shukhov invented the hyperboloid, this kind of structure, that uh, his um, uh, person who helped him uh, during homework and some other things, when she was uh, uh, using the rubbish bin, she lifted it upside down uh -huh. and he saw this straw uh, rubbish bin to still hold uh, its own form. Right. And he thought, yeah, I can do the same, not from the wood, not from the straws, but from metal. I never yeah. thought I'd stand inside one of these. I guess in Moscow it is very difficult to... Yeah, you can't get me in the one in Moscow. So here you can. Nizhny Novgorod has come a long way since its days as a closed military factory town. Today, Soviet idealism and old Russian grandeur are equally accessible to visitors, offering a perfect potted example of the country's complex layers of history. Contemporary artists draw freely on Nizhny's intriguing heritage in new ways. As Artyom has shown me, the entire city has become a canvas for creatives, developers and residents alike.